How's it going guys, Alex here, welcome back to another Doken Massel video and today we're going to be using the OG agility team to take on a Doken event and drastically different from the teams that we have today of course but it's going to be a pretty fun video just because it's going to like basically be a throwback to the teams that we used to use back in the day. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day as always. But yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy today's video as always. And if you do, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. And as always, shout out to everyone that changed their leads to Super Vegito. And there he is. And this is the team that I'm going to be using. We have Super Vegito, Agility, Super Saiyan for Goku, God Goku, Ultimate Gohan, Whis, and the Golden Freezer. So, a bit different from what we have today. I believe the only unit from this particular team that we actually use today is Super Vegito and maybe God Goku, depending on how many Adventure System buffs your one has. Of course, you will most likely be optimal depending on the team that you're using um, once he does get his rebirth slash awakening. But yeah, let's see what we can do against the Super Saiyan Rose event with this team. And the thing that I like about this team is that <laughs> at least every single unit does have their uses. And like I said multiple times in a different video, of course, the Super Vegito doesn't have shocking speed prior to his awakening, which could cause a few issues when it comes to super attacking. But for the most part, it will be fine. And to talk about some of the other options for this team, of course, you would have the, um, what do you call it? You would be able to use, uh, wow. Uh, okay. No super attack here, which is fair enough. You would be able to use the Kaikun Goku, so he would be able to link up with units that have shocking speed, as well as the agility Super Saiyan 3 Goku for over in a flash. And you have the base Gotenks for Fused Fighter and shocking speed with Super Vegito. You can also have the um, Super Saiyan Goten, prepare for battle. There were a few other options for this team in particular, but this is pretty much one of the better setups that you could run. You could run the agility Super Saiyan 3 Goku as well. But the thing that, um, the thing that kind of let him down the most is the fact that he didn't have the prepare for battle link, which was super crucial back then because it was a lot harder to super attack just because a lot of the units then didn't really share a lot of key links with each other, particularly the better ones. So, we should be able to take care of this stage without any issues. Wow, well, never mind. I thought it was done there. This is what happens when you get too ahead of yourself. If I get super attacked, I think I could actually die here. I remember, I, um, I remember how tough this event actually used to be. It was so damn tough. But there we go. Taking him out with the Super Vegito counter. And I kind of wish you saw a bit more of Goku Black. I kind of felt like that particular arc was a bit short. So, who knows? Maybe in the future, Xeno possessed. Uh, or Zamasu possessed Xeno or something. I know a lot of people will be opposed to that. But, I mean, it would, as long as they allow it to make sense. Just make him say that. As a new mortal, we can like possess people, something I don't know, just something dumb. Um, you know, it, you don't have to like the reasoning as long as there is a reason, I suppose. What happened here? Um, did it just get Hello? Wait, did I I did you okay. Wait, what? I'm so confused. I yeah, I did use an Usher there, right? Like for a moment I was like, wait, what just happened? Because it you know what, it's fine. Because it kind of like started lagging and then it's just skipped all the attacks. But then I did use the Usher, but it went off weird for a moment. So I was like, okay, did I actually use the Usher or not? Is the game broken? And it's fine. It's definitely fine for now. I mean, in hindsight, this event actually wasn't tough with a tech type team. But with an agility type team, without any potential system buffs, it definitely could have caused a few problems. And it's crazy to see how um, much of a difference the potential um, potential system has actually made when it comes to the difficulty in the game. Right, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. Thankfully, I can super attack here. So the lack of shocking speed just makes it a tiny bit harder to be able to super attack with a G. So in certain situations, going to quickly go ahead and use the Icarus. And of course, every single unit in my team, apart from the Vegito friend, is... Oh. Apart from the Vegito friend, it's still on Doken. And it's not a critical counter, which is a bit of a shame. I actually wonder how much health he has on this particular stage. I think it's easily close to 1 million. It might, I think it's over that, actually. It has to be. Because I have attacked him several times now with Vegito, I believe. Got Goku as well, of course, who should be able to take him out here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's easily over 1 million health. And I would imagine that on this stage, it must be closer to... Right, so, what do I do here? I, f like, I kind of want to use, I want to put Vegito here, obviously, for the counters. 
But if I get super attacks, I will most likely die. And I don't want to use an Usher because it would be a... I don't want to wait. You know what? Let's just go with this. I don't want to waste the um, Golden Freezer's ability. So I am going to go with this. I want to save the um, Icarus later on just in case something happens. Because if I do get super attacked, I'm pretty much done. Like, a suit. Yeah, yeah. That, that was definitely the right decision. And I don't want to get rid of Golden Freezer either. So I definitely made the right choice here. All right, now we have the Super Vegeta. And of course, if you do want me to try this with the other teams, let me know in the comment section down below, and I will do my very best to do so. Because, again, like I said, I've already unawakened the majority of my units, and there are a few units in particular that I do want to showcase. It's just a matter of getting them to Super Attack 10. So I'm going to try my very best to work on that. And let's grab these as well. We have the Agility Super Saiyan 3 Goku, whose passive has probably ran out at this point, but I... I'm going to do this. So we do have the Golden Freezer next turn, as well as the Super Vegito, but I'm hoping that I position them correctly to the point where I don't get Super Attacks in the wrong spot. But start things off with the Vegito. It's actually crazy to see how hard he hit, like, how hard he hit. To see these numbers, like, it's just so nostalgic, because they never used to hit this hard. And his passive definitely ran out. Right, so down to... Uh, almost two health bars, I believe that is. So, what do I want to go with here? Oh, it's a bit of a risk, but at least this way I can potentially get the sun off of Whis. And I remember how clutch those suns used to be. And we haven't seen his healing ability just yet, but maybe if we are unlucky, we can see it. Super attack me. Oh dear. <laughs> it all comes down to this. I believe Weezer's chance to stun is 15%. Did he stun? We didn't find out. Just please don't super attack me. And I didn't even heal up at the start of the turn. Which could cause a few problems for us. Just don't super attack me. Okay, that's one. Okay. I got blessed in that particular rotation. And we managed to get the crit. So yeah, most likely means that he has done this turn. Unless I do something ridiculously stupid. Right, let's go ahead and heal up here. If I get super attack, uh, I could actually die here if I don't play this correctly. So I'm going to use the Icarus just in case. And putting the Vegito here is going to be the smartest thing to do. So I believe we should be able to take him out here. I honestly would be surprised if he um, doesn't die. I kind of want to think, uh, I kind of want to get the Doken mode, but it's not going to happen. Just to ensure that I do in fact win. Because the Vegito may not hit that hard, so let's grab these as well. Wait, what? I didn't see protect. Oh, I, I knew something. Well, wow. Oh, I knew something was going to happen. I mean, that was all on me. That was 100% all on me. But, of course, the Super Vegito just somehow didn't end up super attacking. Okay, there it is. So, that was the event start. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video as always and if you did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more let me know in the comment section down below what team you want me to use next mate well it would make sense for me to do tech and then in str and physical and then maybe move on to heroes and villains just nice to like go back to some of the previous methods and see how much the teams have changed because like i said earlier this is just a, a um, small example of what some of the teams used to look like of course and if you were to get rid of maybe someone like Whis, you could put the go tanks in you may want to get rid of the ultimate gohan who wasn't i mean it's not the greatest choice because ultimate gohan is easily one of the better units in the team because he does have shocking speed he has that chance to stun as well um you had the super saiyan blue vegeta of course super saiyan blue goku there were just so many okay options for the team of course you have koku and goku as well but for the most part, this was definitely one of the better team, better teams that you could run. And if you have a look at the tech type team now, it's not extremely different from what it was back in the day. But there are definitely, uh, definitely a few major changes. For example, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. For, um, for the most part, it definitely did look like this. Of course, you had the LR Goku, Super Saiyan Bardock, Super Saiyan 3 Goten, Vegito. But let me know in the comment section down below which teams you guys ran. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day as always, and I will see you all in the next one.